Kia ora te whanau. Um, firstly, I'm just going to send a big mihi out to Travis and all of you amazing mentors um, and all of you behind the Kahao platform. Um, I want to send a big mihi out to all the incredible speakers, to our team leader, Adrian, and to our team and all of the participants in the Kahao ATL program. Um, each and every one of you has contributed to why Kahao um, has really impacted my life. Um, that's through all the kōrero, all the sharing, all the learning, the ako circles, the mentoring, you know, incredible, really amazing. So how it's really um, changed my life is that I have an idea. You know, we all have ideas, but in order to really manifest those ideas, there are systems and strategies um, that can benefit to actually bring those ideas into light. So just a little bit of a backstory. My husband and I, um, I come from a health and well-being background. We ran a very successful health and wellness yoga retreat, surf retreat business in Central America, Nicaragua. Our clients were international tourists. Um, celebrities from Hollywood, professional sports athletes. Um, we ventured off to Indonesia to become closer to being at home. Then we ended up back home to my husband's town, Otaki, New Zealand, and then COVID hit. So my dream is to be able to make a difference to as many people's lives as I can by sharing the gifts and the tools of whole order, health and well-being physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And in order to do that and readjust and re-navigate with what happened with COVID, we were no longer able to actually participate in international travel yoga retreats. We were no longer able to do yoga classes, meditation workshops. So I had to segue off and go back to a teaching career, teaching rangatahi, but the vision still stayed with me that it is possible to really embrace this unfortunate circumstance and continue on with the dream. The dream still lives. So what Kahal actually did was it gave me a really tangible system, which was the e-commerce system that guaranteed results. And those guaranteed results meant that I could actually reach more people digitally than I could ever do face to face. And that is the vision, and that is the shift of gear that Kahao Etiel really sparked for me. So I know that Aotearoa has an amazing, amazing community of indigenous healers, but not only just healers in the physical, the wairua, but also about land sovereignty. And what I've met in Kahao is I've met some amazing people and we're all on the same waka. But what about if we could put that waka onto a digital platform and then send that platform internationally? And so I have been really inspired by Kahal to really embrace the digital capabilities that are possible to reach not only our local communities, to have people come into your wellness center, to do well workshops online, to do retreats, to invite in and do webinars, to invite in internationals. So something, I have this idea that something like booking.com or Airbnb, now they're just a couple of guys in Perth who created Canva, and then all of a sudden they're this platform that everyone uses. Why can't we have an indigenous platform like that? Now, when me and one of my business partners thought about this idea years ago in Nicaragua, Someone hit us up and said that in order to build a website like that, it would cost us millions of dollars. So what Kahal has done, it has given me a spark to realize that there is potential to grow. You just need to show up, be in the right space at the right time, share your ideas, be showing them something tangible that you've been working on, and then you can get those other people who would cheer you on to support your idea because they see something valuable in it. And that's really what Kahal's done for me because it's shown me tangible, real proof. So um, 
Thank you for listening to my Kōrero. Um, really, it would be amazing if I get that mentorship, but I just wanted to say a huge mihi anyway. Um, it's been invaluable regardless. So, uh, yeah, good luck to everyone. Kia kaha and thanks for listening.